Hello everyone, I am G. Karthik, Assistant Professor working in IT Department, uh, Komunad College of Engineering and Technology, Tiruchi. Today we are going to see about email in computer networks. Email is an electronic mail which allows users to exchange the messages between one another. So exchange messages means uh, both sender and receiver, they can share the messages through this electronic mail. This electronic mail is belongs to the application layer. Application layer is one of the layer which is available in the OSI. The application layer is the seventh layer. The application layer is used to act as an interface between the user and the World Wide Web. So this is the architecture of an email. Uh, in this architecture, uh, we having the user agent and then a mail transfer agent, mail server and then internet. So in the receiver side, we having the mail server and then a mail access agent and then a user agent. So first of all, uh, the user agent will initiate the email to this mail transfer agent client. The mail transfer agent client will uh, share that mail to the mail server. So in that mail server, we are having the mail transfer agent server and then mail transfer agent client. So in this mail server only, we can uh, um, send the message. It will be available in a spool and then it will uh, transfer that mail to the uh, client's uh, server side uh, mail server with the help of that internet. So in that uh, server side uh, mail server, they having the mail transfer agent server and then having the mail access agent server. The mail access agent server only, they can retrieve the mail from the corresponding email boxes. So which are all the mail they have received in that mail server. So it will analyze the mail and then it will retrieve the corresponding mail. So the retrieved mail to be transferred to the mail access agent. The mail access agent will transfer the corresponding mail to the uh, server side user agent. So this is what the scenario will uh, work. So this is the format of the email. Uh, in this uh, format we are having the two types. So one is a postal mail, another one is a electronic mail. So in this postal mail regularly we are following uh, that uh, what we are done in a postal. So in that letter we should mention the both uh, from address and then to address. So on that in between the actual information should be uh, put into that cover and then we can uh, post like the same thing we should follow in a postal mail. The same procedure we are followed in a postal mail. So uh, in this electronic mail we should uh, mention the uh, from mail id and then to mail id in that envelope and then after that uh, we should include the from message so where from where we are uh, who is the sender that information to be mentioned and then uh, actual information to be uh, mentioned in the body of the content. So this is what the uh, format of the email. And then, uh, so this is the format of uh, email address. So in this email address, we having the local part and then domain part. Uh, so in this local part, uh, the um, address of the recipient should be mentioned here. For example, uh, GPL Karthik 86. So like that, this is the address of the recipient should be mentioned and that domain name should be mentioned here. So name and then add. So the domain name is that yahoo.com or uh, gmail.com. So that information to be mentioned here. And the next thing is that how we can uh, share the information between a client to server. So that should be mentioned in this diagram. From a client side is called as allies and then receiver side is called as a bob. So from the client side, we can uh, initiate the message to the mail server with the help of SMTP protocol. SMTP protocol is that simple mail transfer protocol. With the help of simple mail transfer protocol, it will uh, share the information to the mail server. So in the mail server, we have in the client and then server. So it will share the mail to the uh, uh, Bob side uh, mail server. So in this Bob said mail server, it will analyze which kind of mail is received from the client side like that. It will analyze, it will transfer the corresponding uh, mail to the Bob with the help of mail access agent. 
So these are all the SMTP commands. There are so much of commands is there. Uh, hello, mail from and then RCPT and data quit RS ET. So verify. So there are this kind of several kind of commands is there. Uh, hello is used to send a host name. It is used to identify who is. And then mail from is that it is used to send the message. So that is called as a mail from. And then RCPT2 is used to identify the recipient of the message. And then data is that body of the mail should be mentioned over there. And then quit is used to terminate the message. And then RCT used to abort the current mail transaction. And then uh, VRFI is used to verify the address of the recipient. So like that uh, several kind of commands, SMTP commands they are mentioned over here. So these are the respondents uh, uh, code. So this code is used to uh, so get a response from the SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol. So the two double one is used to check the system status. And then uh, so 214 is used for a help message. And then uh, 220 is used for provide service to the uh, recipients. And then 221 is used to so close the closing the transaction channels. And then 250 is used to give a request from a client to server. So like that, there is a several kind of code is uh, used for this SMTP responses. So these are the SMTP responses which is used for the negative completion reply. Suppose if any of the uh, unknown uh, email ID or uh, wrong mail ID, so that kind of situation uh, we should give this kind of uh, code is used to get the automatic reply uh, for our mail. Uh, 500 to 551 there is a several kind of uh, code is there. Suppose uh, if any of the unknown command we are mentioned, so for that the 502 will be uh, replied to our uh, mail. So with the, with the code, it will uh, we will receive the reply message. So for example, 554, the transaction file message will be replied to our mail. So like that, the, this kind of code is used for a SMTP responses. Uh, this is one of the example for uh, so connection establishment and then uh, so data transfer process and then connection termination process to be mentioned in this uh, diagram. So SMTP client and then SMTP server within this uh, uh, two uh, SMTP client and server we can uh, transaction will be made. So first it will initiate the uh, request to the server to client. So server is ready to accept the request. So that kind of message is so transfer from a server to client. So for that uh, initiation the client should reply to a server that hello message. So for that hello message, the server will reply a so 250 uh, code OK. So 250 is a code. So the OK is OK is a content. So for each and every transaction, it will reply with a certain code. We already discussed in a previous slide. So SMTP responses. Uh, there is uh, several kind of code is available. No, with that code, it will reply the message. So after the so connection establishment, we should uh, start uh, start to transfer the data. So start to transfer the data means uh, uh, we should uh, include the from address and then to address uh, from a client side to server side. For that, the server will reply OK message to SMTP client. So after that, we should include the header part. In that header part, uh, so what data we are going to send actually so that should be mentioned and then uh, so for that uh, uh, the server will reply after that we should include the uh, from address and to address this kind of information. So after we should give the blank line uh, next we should uh, start to transfer the actual body of the content. Finally we can uh, quit the connection. So this process only happening uh, for a SMTP process. So this is a post office protocol. So in this post office protocol, we can uh, share the messages 
so which is called once uh, we are uh, entered into the mail so uh, enter into the mail, mail immediately it will ask a username and password so that kind of uh, authentication process will be made by uh, this post office protocol this post office protocol uh, you having the pop server and then client so in between this pop server and client we should uh, give the username from a client side to server side for that the server will uh, uh, give a response after that we should give the password for that uh, the server will respond so after that we should uh, so once the username and password uh, password will be authenticated we should uh, start to transfer the data transaction process so data transaction process means that uh, email retrieving process will be happen and next thing is next thing is uh, mime so mime is called as a multi purpose internet mail extension so in this multi purpose internet mail extension uh, used to transfer all kind of data so audios videos uh, images and then documents so all type of document to be uh, accepted in this uh, mime so that is abbreviation for multi purpose internet mail extension so we can share the nan ascii codes uh, from uh, allies to bob so allies to bob is called the sender and the receiver so network virtual terminal is available so using this network virtual terminal the seven ascii uh, ascii code will be so transferred to the email system with the help of that it will uh, receive from a bob site so this is what only we are uh, start to uh, transfer the mime related data from a uh, source to destination so uh, so what are all the types of information we can able to send through this mime text uh, so multi part multi part means all kind of uh, mixed contents and then messages images audios videos and then application related data so the so all things we can able to transfer to, through this multi purpose internet mail extension so this is the format of uh, so converting the non ascii data to ascii data so here we are mentioned the binary code that binary code to be converted into 6 bit chunks so that 6 six bit chunks should be converted into base 64 converter with that we can convert it into ascii data so this base 64 table is for used to converting the binary value to a, uh, a hexadecimal so for each and every uh, numerical value we should have a corresponding uh, so alphabetical letter with the help of that we can convert the data into um, alphabetical order see here this is called as a so quarter printable so uh, this is the content which is available both mixed is uh, ascii and the non ascii data are available so that should be uh, converted into an ascii data see here there is a so non ascii data is mentioned here so with that non ascii data should should be converted into do ascii data so this is a email security so uh, here uh, we should not mention any uh, type of security in this email so this protocol is uh, used for does not provide any security for this provisions because uh, so security will be provided only by this pretty good privacy so but uh, we should not provide any security over here we are just uh, transferring the information to a uh, client to server with the help of uh, email servers so that this is process uh, happening in this email security uh, thank you for watching thank you all